big thing like choir. Mm -hmm. So just that part is a recurring part. So three, four. There's just something about song, melody. It gets to the heart. This is one of the only times where you see people from all different walks of life coming into a church building, coming together to basically sing what are prayers. This is definitely a new season, new community, and new beginnings, and a new album. It's beautiful how music and cross over so many different boundaries and connect with people where they're at. It's something I've seen over the course of many miles together on the road through the years. It's just a consistent, um, sincere heart from him as he's stepping up and leading people that they would have a genuine experience with God. And that always resonated with me and has made it a joy to work together on the road for 13 years now, going strong. I once was lost, I walked away, the road was dark, I could not see. It's, it's rooted in history and thousands of years of people taking prayers of the people and putting it into song. But your mercy, your mercy. These songs, these lyrics, they just have a way of expressing something that's just so common to everybody's life journey at some point. Singing these songs and praying to God are very closely tied. To write music that maybe would inspire people or help them in their faith. You died so I could live No greater love than this your mercy What do we want this song to be as a prayer? I think Paul goes after that. He's one of those guys that really goes after that with his whole self. That's the joy to me, is hearing others sing this, and the song becomes like a catalyst in their soul. But that's what I would hope. It's always my prayer. Once for all, you died so I could live again. This album represents a whole collection of new songs that I hope will help others express themselves, express what's in their heart to God. Once for all.